nuclear diamond batteries are now appearing to be a major changer eye in the global search for improved batteries. This battery's importance cannot be emphasized enough. Thanks to storms, your electronic devices can be used for extended periods. Imagine living in a world where you wouldn't have to worry about charging your electronic devices so you could use them as much as possible for several weeks. Welcome back to another exciting video from Informative Scoop. Today's video is about Elon Musk just presented new solar battery as strong as nuclear power. Before we start the video, please like subscribe and press the bell icon. Elon Musk and countless other eminent scientists claim that diamond nuclear batteries, which are now being produced, are the solution to all these issues. Since nuclear power is currently leading the charge globally, these batteries will completely alter the energy storage landscape. It is one of the more effective energy producers. So what is this diamond battery exactly? Will Elon Musk use this battery in Tesla electric vehicles? You'll be shocked by the results, so keep watching. Nuclear diamond batteries, which several prestigious companies with Elon Musk are now developing at the Vanguard, may represent future batteries. As usual, Tesla's CEO likes to make grandiose claims and pique our curiosity about cutting-edge technology. He is online learning. There are now rumors that he may shortly reveal nuclear-powered electric cars. Tesla is supposedly working on incorporating batteries batteries made by the California-based Nano Diamond Battery, or NDB, into its vehicles, according to several YouTube channels. Because they are supposed to be able to power a spaceship or hospital for up to 28,000 years without ever needing to be recharged or replaced, it is interesting that these batteries are powered by radioactive waste. The company announced in 2021 that it would start selling the batteries to partners within the next two years. This includes a model intended for the general public that could power a smartphone or an electric car for up to 10 years. Is Elon Musk genuinely working on a new nuclear-powered Tesla vehicle, Elon Musk's use of the battery in his electric cars. We're still speculating as a result for the time being. But it's crucial to keep in mind that NDB is a very genuine company with a potentially groundbreaking product. The company's approach essentially involves creating a novel nano-diamond treatment that extracts electric charges from the minuscule diamonds. The group behind it makes a big deal out of the fact that these batteries emit no carbon dioxide, are safe for the environment and can maintain their charge for far longer than the lifespan or usage of any particular device. This suggests that your device will charge itself. There is never a concern about the battery depleting naturally. It's always one of the biggest problems with new technologies. NDB is likely now testing its products but has not yet disclosed it. The company's partners will eventually have to consider the cost and how long these batteries are expected to endure. Lithium-ion batteries, used in almost all modern electronic devices, deteriorate after five years. Add to it the existing supply problems with the standard components of the present battery technology. In April, Tesla disclosed that around half of the vehicles it produced in the first quarter of 2022 shipped using lithium-iron phosphate, or LFB batteries, rather than nickel and cobalt-based cells. In October of last year, the business announced the modification for the first time. Given that Ukraine and Russia, a significant nickel producer, are still at war, Tesla's decision to transition to LFP batteries may influence other companies to do the same. Over a dozen businesses intend to develop LFP battery plants in the US and Europe within three years. LFP batteries are extensively utilized in China and are increasingly reaching Western markets. Elon Musk is reportedly concentrating first on improving the cost and speed of Tesla's batteries before turning his attention to finding whole new batteries. There's always a potential that we'll see a Tesla automobile powered by nuclear energy at some time, but we have no idea what he has in the works, especially because Tesla, owned by Elon Musk, has built some of the most extensive battery storage systems ever. It is arguably the most vocal advocate for sustainability in the world. Musk has explained why he was pro-nuclear energy by saying that he believes it is incorrect to stigmatize nuclear power at this time, mainly because renewables like solar and batteries are still expanding. Along with helping Tesla reach new heights, he is also contributing $100 million to the XPRIZE carbon removal project. The competition is well under, with XPRIZ announcing its 15 milestone round winners in April. Musk emphasized the importance of carbon capture once more. Musk recently discussed the necessity to lower the parts per million level of CO2 in the atmosphere during an interview with the Getting Stone podcast. He also stressed the importance of developing carbon storage technologies. We'll need to collect it from the air and put it away, and I think it makes sense to preserve it in some concrete way. You know, in a way that after you keep it, you know it won't eventually evaporate and return to the atmosphere. It should read that you must remove and store the CO2. In a comment by Musk, he noted that considerable energy would be needed to do this. And when it comes to energy, he believes that, at least initially, harnessing nuclear energy is a terrific way to fuel carbon capture plants. In addition, he said that, except for places subject to natural calamities, nuclear power is a realistic energy alternative. I'm in favor of atomic energy. I think nuclear power is given a poor rep. 
my opinion is, if a nuclear power station is not located in a disaster-prone area, it should not be shut down. We're simply waiting for the real, and you can't just say that. However, given there are frequent tsunamis and other natural disasters, in those situations, like the one in Fukushima, it's probably not a good idea to have nuclear power. However, there is little chance that a natural disaster will harm nuclear power plants in countries like France, Germany, or many parts of the United States. Therefore, we shouldn't shut them down in that circumstance, Mr. Musk said. According to Elon Musk, for the time being, while the shift is taking place, batteries and solar power are likely to be the technologies that will power the planet. Nuclear energy is not, in the least bit, a terrible alternative. It performs better than using dirtier energy sources like coal and fossil fuels. Musk predicted that the primary long-term energy source for civilization would be solar energy. However, he insisted that nations must use nuclear power until that transition is finished. Concerning the future of the Earth, Musk is optimistic. The issue with the climate will be resolved. He said in an interview with Matthias Upnurse, CEO of Insider's parent company, Axel Springer, that it's simply a matter of when. According to Elon Musk, solar energy will eventually be used to achieve decarbonization. He claims that the secret to this transformation is a system that can effectively store solar energy for later use. Naturally, there are times when there is thick cloud cover and the sun does not shine all day. Therefore, according to Musk, you need a solar battery, long term, that will serve as civilization's primary energy source. He told Duffner that nuclear power plants must be kept in operation until switching to solar energy is feasible. I cannot emphasize this more. He said that shutting them down would be sheer madness. This is total lunacy, to be precise. Regarding Germany's decision to gradually phase out nuclear energy in the wake of the Fukushima nuclear disaster, Musk made the statement. Germany's reliance on Russia was made evident in March 2011 due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. On Twitter, he promoted the use of more nuclear energy in Europe. Earlier in the interview, he mentioned that it was more of a question mark. There is no risk from nuclear power plants if you live in areas where solid earthquakes or tsunamis frequently occur. If no chance of a catastrophic natural calamity exists, Germany does not. Musk did not provide a time frame to back up his claims. However, he asserted that in 15 years, the climate crisis would appear to be much better from the perspective of sustainable energy. The primary goal of Tesla is to resolve the problem. Musk put it in. Since Elon Musk seems serious about sustainable energy, creating a new solar battery may already be in progress. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.